Greetings to you all in the name of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I would like to thank our Achin and youth representatives for giving me an opportunity to speak the word of God. For today's thought, let us turn our Bibles to Luke chapter 6 verses 27 to 36. But to you who are listening, I say, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you and pray for those who mistreat you. Let's pray. O God, our Heavenly Father, we pray that you will open the mouth of your servant to proclaim your word. Amen. Someone who is hostile to you or someone who you really do not like can be described as your enemy. What do we do when we do not like a person? We try to fight with them. We gossip about them. We secretly pray for bad things to happen in their life. But Bible teaches us in a different way. Bible tells us to love your enemies and pray for them. We are called to be the salt and light in this sinful world. I would like to say two points on ways to love your enemies. Do good to them, bless and pray for those who curse you. I would like to say a short story of two friends, Sammy and Tammy. Sammy was a very obedient child. He was very studious and was loved by his parents and all his friends. Tammy, on the other hand, was very disobedient and he used to bully all his friends. For Sammy's 8th birthday, he received a pen from his parent. Tammy was very jealous of that and he stole his pen. When Sammy got to know that his pen was lost, he complained it to his teacher. And uh, his teacher searched the pen in each and every child's bag and she received the pen from Tammy's bag. Teacher was very angry at him. Tammy started to cry. And Sammy uh, was very, uh, felt very bad at the, uh, because of this and Sammy told his teacher to forgive Tammy. Despite of being hurt by Tammy, Sammy gave him only love in return. We should not harm someone even if they try to harm us. As Christians, we should be people filled with truth and grace. When we interact with people, our attitude towards them should be only love. Jesus Christ himself is an example of love. Secondly, bless those who curse you and pray for them. It is very easy to pray for someone who loves us, but it is very difficult to pray for someone who has cursed us. To curse means to cause harm or to persecute. Jesus Christ tells us that the way to respond to one who seek us harm is to pray for them and do good to them. When we act for the benefit of someone else, even when it is undesirable, an incredible side benefit is that we ourselves are blessed. Jesus says that the reward for such behavior is great. When we treat others with grace and mercy, he rewards us. This Lent season, let us try to develop the attitude of loving our enemies. I would like to conclude the sermon by saying the verse Romans chapter 12 verses 21 Do not be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good.